Hi there. Inventory management is essential for smooth and efficient manufacturing. In this video, we'll walk you through stock management in MRP Easy with a focus on the stock section built specifically for stock managers. At the heart of inventory management is the stock keeping unit or item in MRP Easy. Each item has key attributes, name, item number, unit of measure, and storage location. Procured items include purchase terms, while non-procured ones have a bill of materials and routing. To stay organized, items can be grouped into product groups, streamlining inventory management. Well-structured items make inventory easier to handle. The Stock Items section gives you a detailed, customizable view of all inventory. You can adjust columns and click underline numbers for deeper reports. Each item has its own detailed view. MRP Easy separates stock that's on hand from what's expected to arrive. Some stock is free to use, while some is already booked for production or orders. There are six key inventory metrics. In stock, total quantity on hand. Available, free to use quantity can be negative. Booked, reserved quantity. Expected total, all incoming items. Expected available, free to use from incoming. Expected booked, booked from incoming. Two more useful columns, work in progress, materials used in ongoing production. Virtual stock, how many products can be made from available materials. Now let's see how MRP Easy tracks all this. Stock lot tracking is central to stock management in MRP Easy. You can view all stock lots under Stock, Stock Lots. A stock lot is simply one batch of a specific item. For example, each purchase of a material creates a new stock lot with its own number. Even if you don't need batch tracking, stock lots are still used for inventory costing and tracing item flow, from origin to destination. In MRP Easy, tracing is enabled by default, allowing you to track batches using stock lots for full traceability. When tracing is enabled, only explicit user actions can change bookings for items from certain stock lots in open orders. This ensures accurate tracking if real-life picks are properly recorded. With tracing disabled, inventory is managed automatically. Items are booked using the first-in, first-out method. Bookings are updated automatically as supply or demand changes. Stock lots are picked in first-in, first-out order. Manual lot selection is not available. Everything runs in the background. For more details about traceability, please see our dedicated video. When a purchase order is not yet received, items in stock are shown as expected. Once reported received, they will be instantly counted into stock. Booking parts. Before production starts, parts are reserved for a manufacturing order. Still in stock, but marked as booked. Consuming parts. When parts are used, they're deducted from stock and moved to work in progress until the order's complete. Completing manufacturing. Finished products are added to stock as on hand, no longer expected. Consumed materials are removed from work in progress. To ship products to a customer, a shipment must first be planned, followed by picking the items from stock. Until the shipment is planned, the goods are booked from stock. 
Once the shipment picking is reported, the goods are removed from stock. You can manually adjust inventory levels in several ways. You can adjust stock directly on the stock inventory page. To adjust stock, enter the new quantity and save. The system will automatically update inventory by either increasing stock, which creates a new stock lot, or decreasing stock, which creates a write-off. Another way is to upload adjustments via a spreadsheet. See the user manual for details. For more control, you can also manually create write-offs or add stock lots. This method allows you to add notes and specify write-off types. Best practice, use manual adjustments sparingly. Always investigate discrepancies and correct errors at the source whenever possible. Each stock item has a default storage location, like a shelf, bin, or rack. When items arrive, they're placed in this default location. You can move items to different locations and keep quantities in multiple places. To do this, open the item's stock lot. In storage locations, click Move the stock item. Enter the quantity, select the new location, and save. When picking items for production or shipping, MRP Easy shows the exact location to pick from. With MRP Easy's Enterprise Edition, you can enable multi site and multi stock support. A great feature if you have multiple production sites and warehouses in different geographical locations, such as different areas within a city, separate cities, or even countries. It lets you manage inventory and production separately for each site. You can procure items, track stock, and assign manufacturing resources unique to each location. You can move items between sites by creating a transfer order. MRP Easy offers various reports to track and analyze your inventory. Items Stock History shows stock levels over time with graphs and detailed tables. Bookings Report lists manufacturing and customer orders booking the item. Expected Lots Report displays future expected batches from purchase and production orders. Purchases Report tracks purchase history and price trends for procured items. Engagement where used report shows all products using this item in their BOM. Manufacturing orders report details manufacturing orders and cost per unit. Two key additional reports. Stock movement provides a financial overview of stock balances and detailed movements with links to source reports. Stock aging identifies items that have remained unused for an extended period, helping manage obsolete or slow moving stock. In this video, we covered most aspects of manufacturing inventory management, primarily using the MRP Easy Stock module. For more information, please check out our other videos Thank you for watching.